Hello friends, welcome back to the new tutorial of the React in the Node. So today we are going to learn about the Grod app with the Node.js, React.js and the SQLize and Redux Toolkit. So all of this combination we are going to use in this lecture. So those who haven't subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe my channel. And if you like the video, please do like, share and comment on my video. So let's get started. So first we set up the backend part and then the React part. Okay. So first of all, you have to install the Express SQLize and the MySQL2. Okay. Then we have to create the model and data.js. Okay. So here you can see that we have done the models, then data.js. So here we're defining the schema of my database. So first we take the name and the second is value. Okay. So make sure you have whatever the fields you want, you can expand accordingly. Okay. So this is data. Then we have a configuration file for the database. So here we have the config and the database.js. So here we have doing the connection part. Okay. So this is my, you can say the DB. This is the user. This is password. This is a host. This is dialect. That's MySQL. Define timestamps to be false that we are not accepting the timestamps like created at or updated at because we haven't created. Okay. Next, we have the models. Models, we have the data which we have already explained. Okay, so config and the model. Config database.js, models data.js. Okay, so this is done. This both thing. Now we have a routes, make a folder of routes, then api.js. Okay, so here we have all the API that we have uh, required for the CRUD one. Okay, so, so first we have using the express, then express.router, then require the models. First one, get all the data, to so await data find all and store the result in the response.json dot listen data. If any error occurs, then it will throw the error server error. Okay. Then we have a post data for insertion. So it will create the data. It take the parameters name and the value from the react one and store the data into the database. Okay. Next we have the updated data. So here data has to be update. So find by we get that this is the model that we have to use. We have to pass the ID that if data is to be updated, then response data not found. <coughs> if we are expect, expecting the name and the value from the React, we will make a, you can say object and pass to save it. Okay. So this is that one. Then we have a delete part. So it will ex expect a one parameter that is ID, the same one here. Is expect the parameter ID also on the behalf of ID it will update and the data what to update we have stored into the data to update with the name and the value okay next we have a delete <coughs> we require the parameters ID data to be delete find by PK here we pass the ID if not then return the result that data is not found then if it is found then data to delete destroy okay and return the response that data deleted successfully okay so this is the api part that we that is done <laughs> then we have a app.js file the main file we we require the packages in the express codes body parser config database okay <coughs> so this is the express initialization codes so that we can there is no course issue if we are using that url in the react okay and the bypass for that one body parser for the you can say about the get the, uh, if you put the JSON request or the form your link request so it will accept that one okay first we will check that the database is authenticate so uh, we will show that database connected else it will show the error okay then we have the API part that routes API okay then uh, if we have required uh, include all the routes over here Okay, then we have a port on which port it should be listened. Okay, after doing this, you can see that uh, we have already made the crack and now we are going to add any of the data. So I will add regioning on chd. So you can see it is over here. <coughs> if I go and edit that one, one, two, three, update. Okay, if I want to delete, I can delete. Okay, you can here you can check all the responses here. So first we will add test and here anything add. So API part is API data request is this one 
and response we get this one and here the data is appending over here you can see that okay this is all about the redux toolkit right and if i go and just delete that data or edit that one edit so i will add one two three four and just add the update so you can see that put request is done request is this one and the headers we are passing the id and the response is this one okay and if i go and just delete this one you can see the delete option data delete successfully request we are passing the id 20 okay so the api part is done and the integration part is uh, in the react form is there so this is the same part that we have discussed in the previous video i will share the previous video here okay so here we go with the previous video which i have explained the react part here so here you can get all the details so this is the crud tutorial again so, but here it is node.js and the mysql okay but here just we have uh, like you can say make with the sqlize okay and the last react part is the same we haven't changed anything on that one just we have changed the api section okay so go and watch the react part from here and the api part you will get it from this lecture okay so any doubt any query in that do let me know in the comment section thank you so much for watching this video have a great day